Ladies and gents, hello and welcome. My name, of course, is Albert Potato. This is Civilization VI. Scotland, the brave. And, um, yeah, there's a couple of really, really important milestones that we're going to be coming up on very, very shortly. First things first, we've almost finished a harbour over here. The possibilities are endless once we've got a harbour down. That's really exciting. This industrial zone right here is going to give us so much production, it is going to be unreal. Literally unreal. Um, and then, of course, we're going to be finishing up uh, the granary in Glasgow. Also, what's going to be really nice is that at the moment, Glasgow is disloyal. Um, slowly but surely, we're going to build that loyalty back up again. We've got a governor. Uh, we've got a governor in place now. We've got Magnus over here. And he is going to be working hard to increase the loyalty. I really hope that this Conganese archer doesn't destroy my caravan. I'm not even sure if he can destroy my caravan. Norway is trading with France. That is top secret information right there. Uh, also, we've got to destroy this barbarian camp up here. Uh, it's something that we're going to do very, very soon indeed. Unfortunately, however, it is in fact spearmen that are that are on this camp here, which is a huge problem because spearmen are very, very good against horses. Anyway, um, fingers crossed we should be able to build another trade route shortly. Um, if we build this lighthouse, that's going to take four turns. If I was to build the... I was going to say the great lighthouse, but we can't actually do that. Um, yeah, unfortunately, if we were to do this, it would get rid of the fish. If we were to build... If we were to build the uh, Colossus, that would give us trade route capacity, grants a trade unit, must be built on the coast, plus three gold, plus one great admiral point per turn. It would be pretty good. And the bonus that we get from fishes isn't actually that good anyway. I mean, it's not been improved yet, but yeah, whatever. I feel that I probably do want to try and build this Colossus, so we're going to try and do it. We're going to give it a crack. We're going to see. We're going to see if we can make it work. I'm not entirely sure if we can. We'll have to roll with it. We'll have to roll with it. Um, cool. By the way, is our production is our production affected by is our production affected by the uh, the fact that Glasgow is pretty darn disloyal? City growth is reduced. City yields are reduced. Does production come in under a, a yield? I don't actually know. Yeah, no real idea. I don't think it I don't think it is reduced, but it might be. Um so we just sort of gotta bear that in mind. The fact that it's gonna take literally ages to do literally anything around here. Um Cool, cool, cool. Let's get I would either say Swordsman or Horseman. Yeah. Either way we should Definitely start getting some archers, because I have a funny feeling that this chap is going to attack me over here. Uh, we'll move you back, and we'll get you fortified up. We can name the unit. Interesting. Uh, looks like we avoided capture. Oh, goodness. The builder has moved into range. That was a perilous mistake, if ever I do say. That was really stupid. I should not have done that. But it's okay. Apparently he doesn't realize that he can capture uh, can capture builders. Fine. That's fine with me. In fact, that's great news. It's the best news I've had all day. Uh, yeah, insufficient housing. I know this is a real problem. Great. Thank you very much. Beautiful. Workers from Sterling stream into the industrial zone. May I suggest that we construct a government building to memorial? Yep, thanks. We are constructing a government building. In fact... Oh, you mean a specific government building? Oh, I shouldn't maybe have gotten rid of our advice uh, straight away. That's fine. Sterling's got an industrial zone now. Roxborough, we need to fix the appalling housing uh, crisis here. Where do we need to build a... Uh, where do we need to build an aqueduct? It needs to be on a district that provides the city with a fresh source of water from adjacent river, lake, oasis, or mountain. Not build it there. Can we build it here? It must be built adjacent to the city center. Um, okay, so we can't actually do that. That's uh, that's a no-go, unfortunately. 
Um, housing over here, aqueduct. Don't really want to build that, to be honest. Not super keen on doing that. We do need a commercial hub. Ooh, that is a, that's a juicy tile right there. We also need to get the industrial zone set up right about here. Oh, actually. Hmm, I'm just wondering. I mean, the university would get us housing. That would go some of the ways to, to relieving that pressure. So would the stable and the barracks. And so would the lighthouse. All of this stuff is going to get fixed in time. Unfortunately, we're building a Colossus for the next 14 turns, so sort of going to be put to the side a little bit. Um, I think a workshop would be really nice to build. Pretty sure it's a it's a pretty good improvement. A pretty good improvement. Uh, the, this is the government building thing, isn't it? Plus one amenity, plus four housing in cities with governors. Um, minus two loyalty in cities without governors. Okay, that's actually really really good. Ancestral Hall, 50% increased production towards settlers. New cities receive a free builder. Awards, plus one governor tile. Man, all of these things are really, really good. Well, let's start with an audience chamber. Uh, what does this do? Capturing an enemy city for five turns. Pl awards, plus one governor tile. Yeah, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to go with, uh, with that. That's pretty darn good. And um, what should we get? Plus 20% production towards theater square buildings in the city. So where are... Where is everyone currently located? Let's have a look at our governors. Okay, so we've got the financier. Plus three gold per turn per each foreign trade route passing through this city. That's not super useful. Magnus, plus 20% industrial zone production. Plus 20% towards industrial zone buildings in the city. Settlers trained in the city do not consume a population. Or the connoisseur. Okay, so none of these are particularly useful. Now, we could appoint... We could appoint another dude here. Acquire new... Yeah, doubles adjacency bonuses from commercial hubs. Hmm. Diplomat. Should we appoint you? Yeah, let's appoint you. And let's appoint you to... Um, Roxburgh. Yeah. Let's appoint you in Roxburgh. Beautiful. I know it's, I know I'm very, I, I can't seemingly commit to uh, exactly what I want to, I want to do with my governors. We're just sort of going to go with it and see what happens. Okay, is there any chance that we can capture, oh, excuse me. Yep, let's go there and then let's capture that right there. Perfect. Great news. That's a big win for us. Uh, this trade route, uh, which we had going to Glasgow, that was designed entirely really to help our loyalty uh, it didn't work it was a failed mission it won't be happening again however we've got a great opportunity now to uh, to fix up our problems i think we probably want to trade with you yeah i think we do want to trade with you actually there's not a bunch of really great trading routes to be honest you're not bad either however you are um you know, my enemy, and you probably will attack me. So I don't really want to reward... I don't really want to reward your bad mistakes, which is what I feel like I would be doing. Um, cool. I'm going to try and chase these chaps down, um, just the archers. Also, I think it probably is about time that we, uh, that we declare peace. I don't know what your view is on the whole situation. You cannot accept this deal. Never mind. I'm not going to bother. If you want to continue to throw troops at me, then you're more than welcome to do so. But uh, you're not going to be very successful. Thank you very much. Although I did just get a harbor just this turn. Um, or just one turn ago. Two turns ago. It was very recently anyway. Well, hey, look at this. Catapults. Man, we should... We should see if we can do some conquering of our own. He must have a very, very powerful empire over there. Um, thank goodness he's attacking my archers. Did we defend? Yeah, wow, we, we did. There we go. Major victory. 
I'll take that. It's pretty darn good. Um, man, we could just get... Oh, no, you're kidding me. I thought we were going to get away with it. Oh, that's so annoying. Uh, fine. Move you over here. We could honestly do with getting another city, just like up here. That's so good, honestly. Um, where is it? Map options, so show yield icons. Yeah, look at this. This area would be great. It would be a very, very gold-oriented, very, very gold-oriented city if we put it on the right on the tip up there. But um, yeah, we should maybe consider that. I will certainly consider it. Probably before we do. Oh my goodness, that looks horrific. Uh, probably before we do, I think we'll probably wait to get the upgrade to this guy. Settlers trained in the city do not consume a uh, population. That would be really good to do. Um, so we'll probably wait before we uh, before we get that. Uh, cool. Let's just continue to move up. Uh, governor established in Glasgow. Governor established in Stirling. Roxburgh needs more housing to keep on going. That's fine. You're going to be building an audience chamber very, very soon indeed. And that is going to help out a whole bunch of cities, in fact. We need to move all of our troops immediately right back down to uh, Glasgow. I can feel it coming. I'm going to... Maybe I should warn Gandhi of his missionary... Of his missionary work. Maybe I should complain about it. There we go. Catapult. Destroyed. Destroyed that unit right there. Yeah. Yeah. That's very close. We managed to survive. Goodness me. Very, very close indeed. Okay, we need to bring these troops right back down. Right back down here. I'm still worried by the fact that... Uh, let's get that there. I'm still worried by the fact that the swordsmen are... These swords... These, you know, country-specific swordsmen are going to absolutely destroy us. Um, not super thrilled about that. Ten turns to get down to the bottom of our empire. It's a little bit annoying going to retreat you to about here and then we're just going to fortify you up for a little while cool 11 turns on the colossus not too shabby at all uh, eight turns on the workshop six turns until uh, population growth a couple of turns for uh, for the archer after we get the colossus in aberdeen we're uh, we're going to focus pretty heavily on trying to get um oh my god these city states are it's going bonkers the entire civil service is like a fortress Made of papers, forms, and red tape. Civil prestige. Uh, established governors with at least three promotions provide plus one amenity and housing. Plus one amenity for cities with garrisoned units. That's actually kind of good. In fact, that's really good. The more that I think about it, the more I feel we absolutely should try and do that. I always mess this up. It's always the government tab that I need to go to. Um, we could change... Could change, could change to something else. Autocracy, maybe. Maybe something else. Unit maintenance reduced by one is honestly so, so good. Um, oligarchy, probably, is what we should do. Yeah, you know what, I'm going to change, I'm going to change over to, um, to oligarchy. Keep the unit maintenance, plus two gold from all trade routes. I'll take that. Um, and then we can start plus one gold from each of your envoys. First envoy you send to the city state counts as two. That would be really, really nice. Plus two influence points per turn towards earning city state envoys. Governors provide plus two loyalty to their city. That would also be pretty good. I'm going to pop that in there. The first envoy that you send um, makes a difference. Great general points per turn. Not super bothered about great general points per turn. What on earth is this? Start Inquisition. Domestic routes provide plus two food production, but can't train or buy settlers nor settle new cities. Plus 75 science in cities with a holy site, but minus 25% science in all cities. All units plus five combat strength for melee attack units cannot heal outside your territory. Okay, I don't want to muck around with that too, too much. I'm just going to uh, probably just confirm up. I think that that's pretty good. I mean, either that or we get ourselves... We get ourselves extra gold. We got a couple of envoys, but I think, honestly, I value the great scientist points a little bit more. Actually, I would actually like to swap it out for great general points. Hmm. Hmm. 
No. No, I don't. Okay. I want to check on... I want to check on our great people progress. How close are we to another great scientist? Really close. No. Okay, fine. Let's confirm this. I want to stick with great scientist points for now. We're very, very close to uh, to getting that all squared away. And that will make... That will make me very happy if we can get a great scientist. We are going to get a great general. Um, but we're quite far away. We're quite far away. Uh, we can speed up. We can speed it up and we will. Oh, upgrade to knight. Yes, please. I will absolutely do that. That makes me feel a heck of a lot better about, about things. About defending down here. Uh, can the spearmen be upgraded? I don't think they can. Not yet anyway. But that's okay. Uh, Edinburgh's close to growing. Glasgow is now really close to growing. Is Glasgow back on board with us? Is it now fully loyal? It's got wavering loyalty, which still, I do believe, means a, yep, negative 25% modifier to uh, food. So we're not back to full production Glasgow yet, but soon, soon, very, very soon indeed, we're going to be, we're going to be up to full production. Oh, we took over that unit and we forced him back just a notch. That provides me with a great amount of happiness. Um... Move the knight over here, and then let's get that knight upgraded. Or let's get that upgraded to a knight, should I say. Um, Spearman cannot be upgraded at the moment. That's okay. It doesn't particularly matter. Uh, you can just fortify. Um, yep, you guys are coming down. You guys are coming down. We don't have enough gold at the moment, but we've actually got quite a lot of gold. Uh, all things considered, I'm pretty happy with the, the fact that we've got a butt-ton of money. Uh, an archer. I'm going to actually leave you just around here for now. We've got an archer finishing one turn down there anyway. Uh, heavy chariot, you can come down this way. Uh, and yeah, I just I just told you what to do. Why did you not do it? Very weird. Uh, cool. Montezuma, the Aztec Empire. Literally no idea where he is. However, I would love it if he was a little bit more friendly towards me. Man, I cannot wait until we get this banking. Uh, this banking thing. It's going to be incredible. Also, we need to try and get a commercial hub in the city of Aberdeen. I know we're stuck on just building wonders. Wonders upon wonders upon wonders. Uh, but it is what it is. Finished up an archer in Glasgow. Very, very nice indeed. Uh, we cannot build knights. We need two iron to do this. Uh, we do already have a couple of knights, so that's fine. Uh, we can get some more iron, by the way, but then we would need to improve it in order to get the, the value from it. So I don't think we're going to be able to do that at the moment. Let's build another archer. Let's send an envoy. Um, ooh, Geneva. Is there anyone that's influencing Geneva at the moment? Tamar. Who are you influencing? Kabul as well, maybe? Tamar as well. Ha. Huh. You are very, very tricksy. What about Hattusa? Tamar. Okay, everyone's influencing you. That's fine. Um, okay, I guess we should probably try and influence Kabul. Yeah, let's try and influence... Let's try and influence Kabul. Um, it's a little bit annoying because I don't, I don't get the bonus out of it. Um, the problem is... Is that I really want to make sure that when she declares on me, she feels, she feels, you know, she feels the pain from her allies. Uh, you are influenced by you. You're influenced by a bunch of people, so I don't really care about you. Babylon. Yeah, I, I still don't understand. Where is, um, where is, where is, where is Geneva? Wait, I don't, I don't know where Geneva is. And I'm at war with Villainous. Oh, goodness me. I didn't even notice. Um, fine. Okay, it's fine. It's decided. We're just going to go with Kabul. And the good news is that the first envoy that we send to anywhere uh, counts as two. So that means that we've already got... We've already increased our influence by two there, which is really, really nice. Uh, unfortunately, allying with a, you know, a... Uh, allying with a city-state that is, that is geared for war isn't really going to give us the best it's not going to it's not perfect it's not perfect but it is what it is 
Okay, fortify you up there, fortify you over here, fortify you over there. I, I, you can just tell she's just gonna, she's gonna attack me. I just know it. I'm gonna see if I can perhaps, wow, you're gonna give me gold? That's hilarious and I love it. I'll just take that. I probably could barter with him, but I really just don't care that much. Doesn't matter to me, truthfully. Um, you want that, and you want me to give you a diamond? Sure. Honestly, again, I could barter. I just don't care that much. Quite happy with the fact that Gandhi is uh, that Gandhi is going to be in my good books again, or I'm going to be in Gandhi's good books again. And Gandhi's frankly always been in my good books. Apart from when he decided to attack me frivolously. Uh, then he was immediately not in my good books. Okay, next things next. Uh, Villainous has made peace with us. Great Hong Kong. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Man, I am so, so, so surprised um, that he didn't do better in that war. I mean, well, I'm not surprised, actually. I completely understand why he didn't do better in that war. I do find it hilarious, though. Very, very funny indeed. Um, cool. Well, let's get this horse all the way down over here. And let's just go to the next turn. Three turns for an archer. Fine. Man, we have got a whole bunch of stuff. I know my empire poses no threat to anyone. Uh, you cannot accept this. It's an unfair deal. I would gladly accept this gift. Refuse deal. That is a shame. That is a shame, dude. It's it's a real pity. I'm sorry that I can't make you more happy. Um, speaking of happy, I want to try and build some boats. Oh, what on earth happened? Did he just try and religiousify me? I think he did. I think he did indeed. Um, need more housing. Edinburgh needs more housing. I know Glasgow needs more housing. Everyone needs more housing. It's becoming a running theme, or should I say a running joke, but it's okay. We're working on housing. Roxburgh's working on the, the government plaza, which is going to give us a bunch more housing very, very shortly indeed, I hope. Um, I want to get more trade routes as well. There's so much that I want to do in Aberdeen, but it's currently not possible because I'm building this stupid colossus. I'm thinking that, in retrospect, the amount of time and effort and energy that we're dedicating to building this Colossus might not be worth it. Look at this. Look at this. We're ten turns away from the next era. Or potentially ten turns away from the next era. Ah, he's declared war on me. What a shocking surprise. It comes as a surprise to literally no one. Wow. My knight. My knight was attacked and he took 20 damage. This is just like, I don't think I'll ever need to settle a new city ever again, because every time she attacks me, I just, I just take another, another city. Oh, cool. Cool. Lovely to meet you, my friend. Lovely, lovely, lovely to meet you. Sure. Sample my hospitality. Um... Things are a little bit dicey here, actually. I mean, I say that. They're not really. Why can I not conduct a ranged attack? Oh, it's because it's not my turn. I'm still waiting. <laughs> what do you know? Okay, great. Well, we've got two archers now. First things first, let's move one out the city. And then let's immediately bombard... Let's immediately bombard... You... Yeah, let's try and bombard you down. Let's try and bombard you down. We'll just sort of focus our chaps all onto one guy. Okay. Presents us with a stalemate. However, we do win. Major victory if we take out this catapult right now. Well, I will absolutely take that opportunity. Um, I don't think that we'll actually wipe him out. Yeah, I don't think we'll actually wipe him out. So, you know what? There's no reason for us not to fortify and just let him attack me. Um, I would love one iron right at this moment. 
little bit of a shame that we won't be able to get it before... A uh, little bit of a shame that we won't be able to get it before he attacks, but that's fine. Fortify you. Um, choose production. I don't really think that we really need to, you know, I don't think we need to really focus too much on this war. We might build ourselves one more archer, and then we'll sort of call it a day there. Uh, Kabul has actually declared war on everyone. Um, that could actually be a problem. That could actually be a problem, because Kabul may very well be able to get troops over here. It's probably the closest the closest city-state to us, I would I would think. Yeah, so we could be could be in for a little bit of a problem. A little bit of a problem there. But at the end of the day, I think we've probably got a good chance of succeeding. I'm just sort of thinking, where do we want to siege? Where do we want to conquer? Truthfully, I don't know. Am I still Yeah, I still influence you the strongest, which is great. I'm at war with Geneva as well. Does that mean that I can finally see where Geneva actually is? I really can't. I can't see... I can't see on Earth where Geneva is. Goodness me, that's very annoying. Um, anyway, ladies and gents, on that slightly annoying note, we're going to finish up this episode. My name, of course, has been Over the Potato. This... Uh-oh. Whoops, that's a misclick. Um, this has been Civilization VI, Scotland the Brave. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.